I've received a personal message in response to one of my tutorials asking how to rip songs from a audio disc on one's laptop and then send individual songs to an email friend. Before I answer that question, I want to point out that doing what's been described may or may not be legal. Before you decide whether you want to do this or not, read the article on ripping in Wikipedia, which talks about what is legal to copy and what is not legal to copy in the way of music from a CD in a variety of countries. So now let's talk about something that is legal. Let us say that you have written five songs. You wrote them all yourself, so you own the copyright to them. You go to a recording studio and you record those five songs yourself, so you own the copyright to that performance of each one of those five songs. You have the recording studio put those five recordings on a CD. Now you want to go home and rip one of those songs off that CD to a file on your computer. Once you have it as a file on your computer, you can then attach the file to an email and send it to anyone. Let's show you the process of all of that. First, you need a program on your computer that will take files, copy files from a CD and will turn them or copy tracks from a CD, I should say, and turn them into files on your computer. And most Windows computers have a program that will do that. It's called Windows Media Player. And when it starts, one of the options is to rip. So when you shift it over to rip, it says, to begin, insert an audio CD into the CD drive. I am inserting one, which I do not have copyright authorization for, and so I will delete everything that I do as soon as I'm finished doing it in this demonstration. And when it comes up, it will start the first item. Well, it won't rip it yet because I have it set to only start to rip when I have clicked here. You can set that by going to Tools and then Options and then clicking the tab that says Rip Music and setting this Rip CD when inserted. I have it set to just rip when I tell it to over here to start rip. So if I told it to start ripping, rip all of these now. I'm just going to demonstrate one, so I'll take all the check marks out of the boxes. I could pick any one of these to rip. But I'll pick this one and see introduction, and I'll say start rip. And now it says it is ripping. And it's 10% on. And now 20% done. And it takes a while. Now 30% done, 40% done, 50% done, 60%. And now it says it has been ripped to 
the library. Now, when it says ripped to library, it's here in Windows Media Player in the library, and, and this is the CD, and I have one introduction, and that's now, if I'm set at the library, that's where it is. But it's also somewhere in my computer. You need to know where that is. To do so, you go to Tools and Options, and you once again click the Rip Music. And it says specify where music is stored and change RIP settings. RIP music to this location. My computer is set to RIP it to Documents and Settings, Hank Drayton, My Documents, My Music. I could change that, but that's where that is. So, if I go to Windows Explorer, which in most computers is in Accessories, and I open Windows Explorer right here. And then I look in My Documents. And under My Documents, I look in My Music. And in My Music, I look at the various subfolders. There is a folder called Alistair Cook, which is the name of the CD that I copied from. And if I look in there, you will see a folder called the 1960s. And if I look in there, you will see Introduction, which is a WMA, meaning a Windows Media Audio file. And that file, which is now 3 megabytes, can be saved, copied, uh, sent to someone, uh, even edited if you can find a, an audio editing program, all if you have the legal right to do those things. I'll now go into how I would send a file to someone using my email program, but don't forget that will be different for everyone who has an email program uh, because each has their own way to send files attachments. So now we'll go to my email program. I use AOL for email. And we will compose an email to someone. I'll type someone in here. I don't have someone in my address book named someone, but here's the, it's called someone at AOL.com. And here is, uh, the subject will be here's the song you asked for. And this will be you. And I'll say here it is. And then I will attach that song. Well, I do that. I go up to the place where the song is in my documents, which is in my music, in Alastair Cook, and in that 1960s CDs. And there it is, the introduction, the first track on that CD. I open that and it attaches a particular file, the WMA file, to my email message, which I would then send, which I'm most certainly not going to do because I'm not going to share that piece of copyrighted material with anyone. That's how you do it.